Unfortunately, due to the floods in Durban and homes and unsteadiness, Maris Mama's family from Durban couldn't be here today. I'll introduce three speakers today. Um, at 2 p.m., the body will move to Brixton Crematorium. Karusha and family have humbly asked and shared that lunch will be served to everyone who goes to the crematorium and back and those that remain. Please partake in this offering. I think no visit to the Pele home will ever go without gratitude and sharing that meal with everyone here. The son of Sam and Munima Pele, who came from a humble beginning, 
think if everyone knew how proud Morris Mama was to always talk about how he was from near bank. He was extremely proud of it from stories that I was told by my father and by him directly. In all his years, he never forgot where he came from. And it really was the foundation in all that he stood for. We gather here today not only to bid farewell to a father, to a grandfather, a brother, a cousin, a friend, but most importantly to support the family as we remember and pay tribute to a kindred spirit and a gentle giant who impacted our lives. Morris Mama was stubborn too. He always was set in his ways and told us the story of how he came to Joburg. Not many may know, but those who actually got closer to Morris Mama would understand that he walked from, Joburg to Dur from Durban all the way to Joburg with five rand in his pocket. This just shows the resilience and stature of this human being. His strength to attempt such a journey with using his fear of the unknown, instead of that holding him back, still now gives me goosebumps on how he rather used that to progress in life. The day he met Perima was the day he spoke fondly of. His life with her and Karusha was the world to him. Her passing was something he was never able to truly recover from. If you knew Morris Mama, you would also know he had a snarky and quick sense of humor, always bringing joy to you. An example is Perima one day told him, you must be standing in the garage having a shot. His response, sometimes I sit. Another memory from Bakerton home is Morris Mama had a dog that used to go to the neighbor's house and would mess, um, of course, in the neighbor's home deliberately. And these neighbors were angry and came to Morris Mama to actually tell him what was happening. In Morris Mama's serious response, he told them, I will speak to the dog. <laughs> I also know a memory that Tirusha has shared with me of how she would be the one stealing all the chocolates at home. And one of her best memories is finding how her father would actually have an arrow chocolate hidden, but he was in the toilet <laughs> eating this chocolate because her radar chocolate <laughs> sensors were so high, she would know that somebody had stolen one of the chocolates. I now call upon Mr. Mega Manikam, Uncle Mega to me, first cousin to Perima, and uncle to Karusha. The program director, Bhavani, the officiating priest, members of the bereaved family, Karusha, ordained, and family, Ladies and gentlemen, family who have traveled near and afar to be here at Morris's funeral, I stand here deeply honored and privileged to pay tribute to a dear father, father-in-law, grandfather, brother, uncle, brother-in-law, and a dear friend to all. It is with great sadness that I also pay tribute to a gallant father, Karusha, who has been snatched away from you, Ordain, your family, and all those dear to him. Uh, Pavani, uh, this is off script, as what's his name? President Biden also always says. Pavani uh, spoke about uh, Morris being a jovial person. Yes, he was. And he was a proud Mirbank person. He always told us, me, I come from Mirbank, and I've got my bush knife. <laughs> right? But little did he realize that he was dating the daughter of a giant of a man. The late 
Mr. Vale Carter. And he still had to meet Uncle Vale. And for those of you who know, for those of you who knew Morris, you would know that Morris stammered a little bit. Right? And the time when it came for him to meet Uncle Vale, that stammer was gone completely because when he saw Uncle Val, he got a fright and that bush knife fell away. <laughs> right? Ladies and gentlemen, ever since we all have heard of Morris's illness, Karusha was and ordained and family was indeed com comforted and strengthened by your care, love, and above all your revelations of what Morris meant to you. The late Morris Pillay family has been touched by your humanity. It is indeed difficult to accept the death of a loved one, especially when you did not have the chance to say goodbye to someone who has so suddenly been taken away from his dear family. You would never know what it re is really like until you yourself experience it. I stand here before you, a representative of a family in grief. Morris was a remarkable person. To all those who have been close to Morris, would always appreciate how much he meant to his family, especially his late wife, Raghunath who is in the abode of the Almighty. Thank you for coming to celebrate and commemorate Morris's life. Today, I would like to share a little of Morris's journey in life and the impact this soft-spoken, warm-hearted, affectionate, humble, simple, and caring person had on the people fortunate enough to have had the pleasure of crossing his path in his life. Morris loved and served his family and late wife with distinction. And with all his heart and soul, he truly exemplified the character and the integrity of a true father and caring husband. And all that knew him, saw him, and met him, saw the love he embodied for his family, and especially his late wife, Ragan. The caring way of life that he lived was so contagious, so much so that he was very devoted to his late wife. Ragani and his family alike, especially Karusha, Ordain, and family. We have always been filled with admiration for Morris, who has always been a pillar of strength in Ragani's life. We have always applauded him for being by her side during the period of her illness. He has been by her side in good times, and bad times, and always took care of her and ensured that she was comfortable. He was indeed very special to his late wife. I am equally overwhelmed with a sense of grief as we pay our last respects to Morris, who has left the earthly abode to the mercy of the Almighty. There are no words, ladies and gentlemen, to describe the magnitude of this great loss. To Karusha, Ordain, and all other members of the family, we all pray to the Almighty to grant you, Karusha, and Ordain, and family, the inner strength to endure this great loss of yours. To, to Karusha and family, 
I would like to express our most sincerest condolences on the loss of your beloved father. We all share in your grief. It is our prayer that the Almighty grant you and your family the strength to accept God's will now that you have entrusted your father, your father's soul, into God's hands. May Morris's soul now rest in peace now that he is united with his wife, Ragani, in the abode of the Almighty. Karusha, your daddy was on loan to us. The Almighty has a greater plan for him. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Mehta. Indeed, there is a greater plan. And for Karusha, in time, I think having gone through loss before, it will come to light. I just have a short message from Tamani, who couldn't be here today. Um, she will be here echoing her voice in the next 16 days as she makes sure that Morris Mama gets to feel and also her energy gets to move him over these next few days as he enters Namashivaya as a board. To Karusha, Odein, Kian, Kitana, and Kiva, my heart goes out to you all today, and I wish I was there with you. It is not easy to lose a loved one, as we all know. I pray that God Almighty give you all the strength to get through this time. I have some of the fondest memories of Morris Mama. He is one of the many uncles who taught me the skill of fishing. Always had that spare kid's rod at any family vacation we were on. There was never a dull moment when he was around. Always had time for all of his nieces and nephews. Morris Mama, you loved your life to the fullest in my eyes. We will miss you a lot, Morris Mama. You are now back together with Peri Ma. And I know you both will be looking out from Karusha from afar. This well, and may you attain moksha in Namashivaya's heavenly abode. Lots of love, Kamini. I also want to just call upon um, Morris Mama's niece, Auntie Shemaine, uh, Muggle, Auntie Rosie's daughter. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know me as Morris's niece Charmaine. Um, you know, where do I start? Actually, I haven't prepared anything on paper. I was just going to talk from my heart. Um, we used to call him Anna. And I mean, he wasn't my brother. He was my uncle. And when we were kids, when we were growing up, and we used to go to my granny's house, Morris and his brother Reggie, they were still young boys then. And they used to do what all brothers do to their sisters. You know, tease us, fight with us. I remember so clearly where, um, you know, they loved to bite us. Bite us on our cheeks, bite us on our hands, and make us cry all the time. And we would scream for my granny to come and help us. And we would try to hide from them, but they would catch us and they would bite us. And Morris loved biting our cheeks so badly that we'd cry. You know, all those good days when we spent with our granny, at our granny's house, and all the good times we had, the nieces, the nephews, the, his sisters with his brothers, his brother-in-laws. Of course, they weren't married, the, both the boys weren't married that time. And we would have so much of fun. And they were... They were very mischievous, especially Morris. Morris was the worst one of it all. And those were the good days. Those are the days I will cherish always at my granny's house. And then, as time passed, when Morris got older, he came to Joburg and he met our late auntie Ragni. Um, she was such a sweet and dear woman. We all in our family loved the two birds. I came to live with them after a while. Oh, they had Karusha before that, and I came to live with them. And there was never a day where they made me feel I was their niece. I was more their child 
than I was Denise. I was made to feel so welcome in that house. They did whatever they would, just like they would for their own child. They taught me so many things. And if ever I needed anything, my Anna would never say, no, he can't take me there, we don't have the time. In those days, he still had that blue cult. Remember the blue cult? And we used to go anyway, if I needed to go to an interview, I needed to go to town. Morris was always there to take me. And then, of course, my second taxi driver was Jayram. He, we'd never forget those days. And you know the good times that we had in that house in Bakerton, in, at my Anadem's house? It was the best days of my life, I can say. It was. We laughed. I mean, everybody used to be there every weekend. All the families used to get together. And we'd laugh and we'd tease each other. And you know, like um, with Morris, it was Sydney and Ronnie and Jay Ram, Uncle Ronnie, Auntie Baby's Ronnie. We all would get together and they would tease and they would laugh and they would all be so merry. And Uncle Morris always made sure we had good food and you know, Auntie Ragni would make sure if we, we cooked the food ourselves, whatever it was. But they always had time to entertain and, and you know, make everybody happy. And those were the good days I will never forget for all the things that they taught me. And then, you know, after Auntie Ragni passed away, our, no, before Auntie Ragni passed away, when they moved here to Atlasville, I used to be in this house every weekend. If I never came, they would phone me and ask me, where are you, where are you? And Stephanie and I, we would spend so much of time with them. And some of the funny times when we used to sit in that little, in the lounge here, and Morris loved his cooking. He could cook anything and everything, and he was a really good cook that I won't lie to you about. And he would be cooking over the stove, and Auntie Ragni and I would be sitting on the bed on the side there, and we'd be talking about him, we'd say something, good, you know, about him, talking bad about him, and then he's like, yeah, you can carry on, you can carry on. And then we'll just walk away, he'd get cross and he'd walk away and then he'd come back because he forgot he was cooking. If he was cooking, he would stand by that stove and he would never leave that pot. Even if he was frying something, he would stand it. It was like as if that chicken or that fish or whatever would jump out of the pot and run away if he left the pot. That's how he was, he loved his cooking. And sometimes Soppy used to be here and he would tease Soppy a lot. I used to tease her a lot, just for nothing. And Sophie would say, hey, this Morris, I put up the room. Morris, just go that side. And you know, those were the good times I choose to remember. And then Auntie Ragni passed away. And from there on, his life was never the same again. I used to feel so hurt for him. I used to feel so sad. He missed her a lot. And you know, his life just took a downturn. And I don't know how to describe, but he was so hurt by everything. He felt very lost, I would say that. And there's lots of times when Kirisha would say, you come see what my father's doing. And I'd come here and he would be on his best behavior ever. I would shout at him, he'd keep quiet and listen. But if Kirisha had to say the same things to him, he would shout at her, but he would never do it to me. He would listen. Sometimes Donovan and I would come and we'll talk to him. We try to help him in many ways. And he would listen to us. He'd be happy we came, we spoke to him, we spent time with him and whatever. And then when we gone, he's back to square one. And then I'd phone him and I'd shout at him. I'm sure he listened just for that moment. It went in through the one ear and it came out the other. You know, and the, but that's the type of person he was. He never, he was a very stubborn man. What he thought he wanted to do, he did. That was, you couldn't stop him from doing what he wanted to do. And now recently when he got sick a lot, it was hard to see him like that. You know, it was, it hurt on the inside, but we still try to make sure that he did the right things and we still try to keep him on track. And also like from coming from the family, Kirusha, they all said, I must say, we want to thank you so much, even for these last days, that you actually still made sure 
you took care of him, you the children in Ordain, you took care of him and you did your best. Whatever you needed to do, you did. And I think I'm just, my family couldn't be here today. There's lots of reasons why, unforeseen circumstances. But they all wish they could have been here to pay their last respects because for everybody, he was their hero. Everyone in Mirbank, who his nephews, his nieces, Mirbank, Tongat, wherever, sorry if I'm, mistake, I'm not uh, mentioning all the areas, but his nieces and nephews were the world to him. If he went to Durban, like I think it was Bhavani that said the, fish, the fishing story, he would make sure he take all his nieces and they do that fishing trip without fail. He had time for all our nieces and nephews and we're gonna miss him. We're gonna miss him dearly. You know, when I looked at him and I walked in and I looked at him today, he looks so cross. He's like cross at us. I don't know why. Maybe he's cross that we all are sad. He wants us to be happy like we used to be. Uh, I don't know, but he looks very cross and he reminds me of, you know, when he's standing there and he's, someone teased him and here he's mocked. He's doing the same thing today, maybe because he knows we we're going to talk about all the fun, funny things that he did that made us laugh. But I am so, I won't say I'll miss him a lot. I will miss him a lot, but I know he's in a better place on, um, Wednesday would have been my granny's birthday and I'm telling Karusha on Wednesday would have been my granny's birthday. So I think she was having a big party day upstairs and she came to fetch her son because he talked a lot about Auntie Ragani and his mother now recently. It was like a sign that he wanted to be with him and now he is with him and I'm sure he's happy and he's rejoicing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna miss him. I'm just, I'm just sad to see that he goes though. But we all here just on borrowed time, and someday we will all have to go, and we'll all meet again someday. Yeah, that's that's me. Oh, there was one reminder that I want to do. You know, like in the days when we lived in in Springs, in Bakerton, and there was not many houses there. And Uncle Morris would, uh, we'd get up very early, and one of the, he loved all his nieces and nephews, whether it was Auntie Ragani's side, or whether it was his side. Um, Pri, uh, Prishan would climb over the wall at the back early in the morning by eight o'clock, he's there, where's Uncle Morris, where's Uncle Morris? And then he goes and then Uncle Morris would tease him and do whatever he wanted and make him cry. And then Kian would cry and run back home. Not even 10 minutes later, Prishani's back. Where's Uncle Morris? That's the type of love he had for his nieces and nephews. And then um, Kamani and Shamolia were born. And you would swear to God those were his kids as well. We were lucky, we were the big ones, so we had that time with him. The younger ones don't know that fun time that we had with him. And Chandini and Ch uh, Kamani and Ch uh, Chandini, they used to spend so much of time with us at Uncle Morris's house. You know, he had so much of time for all the nieces and the nephews, and that's the kind of love he had in him. You know, it didn't matter whose kids they were. They were like his own. That's the love he had. And that's what I want to remember him as, the loving, kind Morris that made everybody feel so loved and happy when they came to his house. Yeah, that's it for me. And so we meet again, Anna. Another message that's come through, um, this is from the Monicum family in Durban. Please pass on our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the family on this very sad loss of Morris. 
a truly wonderful friend indeed, always warm, smiling and entertaining with the many trips he made with Jairam to Durban. May his soul rest in peace. May God be at your side today and always. Today would not be complete if I didn't commend you, Karusha. After the passing of your mother, not many knew or saw struggles of not just grief, but raising your family through this and taking care of your father in a way that I highly admire and respect. You were able to provide your father with a beyond measurable love and connection in all you did in your life as an only child and gave so much of love and memories. Your kids will be grateful beyond. This was not an easy journey for you, but your father, mother and grannies are in awe of you. To Kian, Kitana, Kiva, as well as Mishka, Shiara, his nieces and his nephews, who he took as his own children, grandchildren. He did really wait for you, Kiva and Kitana and Kian at that hospital, just to say goodbye. Those tears rolling down his face before he left this realm is just proof of how much love he had for all of you. I've seen how close you all are, and not only will I know that you will miss him dearly, but he will miss you too. Um, just bear with us, please, as we do have Avi Surju who's going to speak. Um, he's actually gone to make sure that the food is here. Um, he's become, if I could say, as Odain's brother-in-law, like a son to Morris Mama. His children even call him Tata. Um, and our feast is on the way, just before the body leaves at 2 o'clock. Um, and Karusha just would like to thank everybody um, that has been there for the family um, through these times and of course assisting in every way with the funeral arrangements from the bottom of the hearts. She says thank you for everything. You know this is also a thank you to the Rand undertakers who've given Morris Mama dignity and pride in obviously his ra last rites. Um, Guru uh, Suresh and brother will be here shortly. Um, and we will close off so um, i know i'm not closing off speeches for now but if you can just bear with us we'll just continue the prayer and singing from there but thank you everybody for obviously being patient with us and just being here in presence just to give Karusha and family all the support that they need
On behalf of our family, and most importantly, Morris Tata's grandchildren, I would like to give this tribute from all of us, especially the grandchildren. We had a wonderful grandfather, one who never really grew old. His spine was made out of sunshine, and his heart of solid gold. We had a wonderful grandfather, and that's the way it will always be. But take heed, because he is still watching us and keep an eye on us. So let's make sure he will like what he sees. Tata, we love you and we miss you dearly, but you'll always be in our hearts. May your soul rest in peace. Thank you. I'd like to just conclude with a short prayer for those who'd like to join me. Asatoma Sakamaya Tamasoma Jodi Gamaya Mrityoma Amratam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 From untruth to truth, from darkness to light, from mortality to immortality. May you be laid, Morris Mama. Peace, peace, peace. Your soul will not be forgotten. Thank you for everyone's patience and time. Um, just bear with us and budgets can continue. Thank you.
Pilea, Pilea, Pirame vine, the Pilea. Om Wom Ganabati, 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 Om Wom Om Om Ganabati, Om Om Ganabati, Om Om Ganabati, Om Pilea Sudhuti, 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 Pilea Sudhuti. Gauri Ganesh, Uma Ganesh, Parvati Nandana Shri Ganesh. Gauri Ganesh, Uma Ganesh, Parvati Nandana Shri Ganesh. Saranam Ganesh, Saranam Ganesh, Saranam Ganesh, Saranam Ganesh. Sivanam Ganaganapati Ganesh. Om Sivana Gana Gana Pati Gani Gauri Gani Suma Gani Parvati Nandana Shri Gani Om Gani Shaya Nama Om Gani Shaya Nama Om Gani Shaya Nama Siva Perumani Siva Perumani Yallokumni Devam Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Yallokumni Devam Siva Pirmani Annei Tannei Guru Devami Annei Tannei Guru Devami Anuvani Vi Arul Seivaye Anavane, the Abu Sevaye, Siva Pirmani, Siva Pirmani, Yel Lord Kuni, they even Siva Pirmani, Siva Pirmani, Siva Pirmani, Yel Lord Kuni, they even Siva Pirmani, Ameya Father Devami. Ammeya Pagur Devami Anavani Ni Arun Sevaye Anavani Ni Arun Sevaye Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Yallor Kumni Devan Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Yallor Kumni Devam Siva Pirmani Nama Sivaya Omni Devami Nama Sivaya Omni Devami Kataruvai Ni Aru Sivaye Kataruvai Ni Aru Sivaye Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Yallor Kumni Devam Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Siva Pirmani Yallor Kumni Devam Siva Pirmani Om Namah Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Namah Come on. 
ओम नमः शिवाय तिरुसिद्धम बलम